after this veretrum album now we go to ignatia ignatia under those very heads we shall see mind nervous system and cerebrospinal axis word has been written because there are hysteric symptoms of muscles that is the symptoms of cerebrospinal uh, axis sensorium more right side and also left side then words from emotions which includes grief <coughs> anger worry right fright right. then air open air cold air smells touch coffee and tobacco then after that we see consolation aggravates slight touch aggravates winter aggravates walking fast aggravates and in the morning on waking it aggravates so this complex is modality complex then the remaining part of it better position change of position lying on painful side profuse urination another drug is jealousy then if alone pressure and hard pressure as well as soft pressure both whereas we shall see in china that the there is a difference that aggravation by touch relief by hard pressure which is a contradictory important modality then swallowing also patient is better from hearing repeatedly verified symptoms tell about desire to be alone incredible changes of mood the changes of mood are so much that it is surprising and at one time jokes and makes merry at another is lacrimose alternating every 3 to 4 hours that is important that frequent changes not that one day it is like that and after one week it is like that no it is very quick changes here then apprehensive feeling internal fear sadness and sighing more than Uh, this uh, weeping there is an associated sign which is nowadays called hyperventilation mm. this is sign whereas nowadays you find this hyperventilation because there is more excessive ventilation there are of course organic causes also lungs related factors also you have to see the lungs are healthy and there is hyperventilation you will call it sign melancholy sadness after disappointed love always combined with spinal symptoms that means there is a hysterical spasm there is that spinal means two things one is sensory another is motor either there will be pains or there will be difficulty in movements muscle power then great grief after losing persons and objects very dear so that is disappointment from loss of somebody unhappy love with silent grief then sensitive disposition and hyper acute feeling hyper acute feeling as if there is a uh, the commonly we call this person is hyper now hyper means doing excessive so that is the hyper acute feeling then finally sensitive mood delicate conscientiousness very much conscientious whether this is right that is wrong and if you are returning money and you are returning money 1322 rupees is the bill your friend has spent money for you then you give exactly the same amount if it is 532 you not only give 530 but also give 2 rupees as change now this is also a habit you don't press consider this as uh, that symptom when it is a habit particularly in elderly people i used to sometimes uh, was uh, i was surprised when my professor used to return precise amount to me now when i have grown old i am also returning precise amount there are two reasons one reason is that when i was young at that time there was value of 2 rupees today there is no value of 2 rupees mm-hmm. then it has become a habit but then this habit itself makes you delicately conscientious so conscious conscientiousness is good and conscientiousness is also a pathological or a psychiatric symptom you have to know in constant impatient irresolute and quarrelsome fighting people slight blame blame or contradiction opposition excites him to anger on slightest thing gets angry this makes him angry with himself or herself in mind ailments from anger 
then anger with silent grief bad news disappointment disappointed love fright reproaches reproach means criticism condemnation rebuke punishment all that is reproach and shame then high ideals and expectations a strong drive to make them true whatever are your dreams you want to realize those dreams critical intolerant of contradiction expects others especially partner maybe uh, marital partner maybe business partner maybe any partner to be perfect strong sense of inner duty this is the calling from inside this big rubric tells about competence quickness and refinement used to achieve goals in outer world women or women wants to be equal to men this is good there is no harm in uh, women being equal to men but if it is on things in which biology does not support you over there also it becomes very difficult it becomes difficult socially because there are social norms of being a woman and social norms of being a man which is accepted largely by society and if you don't follow that protocol you are going to be in for trouble conflicts with inner state inner conflicts delusion he committed a crime is criticized being doomed has neglected duty has done wrong so these are not only ideas they are delusions very strong ideas self reproach condemning criticizing rebuking one's own self disappointments which excite inner sensitiveness but tries to keep it in silent grief and brooding aggravation by consolation leading to contradictory and alternating states involuntary sighing that very thing from hearing emotional outbursts very quickly controlled suddenly goes into uh, weeping and suddenly stops that is hysterical there are hysteric people who will be weeping 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 but hardly there will be tears from eyes or there will be tears from eyes and suddenly they will change their mood it is not drama remember there is a difference between drama and hysteria drama is a conscious drama whereas hysteria is an unconscious drama where it is at unconscious level that is taking place we have to differentiate then sighing constant swallowing twitching around mouth that is chorea symptoms then bites inside of cheek etc these are symptoms of stress tendency to eat away stresses that is dissolve this stress how anger and grief by eating poor eating that is may become fat or ravenous appetite called bulimia opposite of anorexia is bulimia alternating with anorexia empty sinking in stomach which is not relieved by eating as a result keeps on eating eating and putting on fat then generally it is spasmodic and erratic symptoms aversion to fruit loathing of tobacco smoke coffee aggravates or ameliorates both ways aggravates sweets perspiration only or mainly on face especially during eating <coughs> then symptoms pass off with a profuse flow of urine pain in small spots then particulars are sensation of lump in throat which is called globus hystericus then twitching around mouth chorea symptoms nervousness symptoms nervous cough aggravates by coughing then headache ends in yawning and vomiting and itching vulva with itching extending up to vagina so this is what is ignatia so after <coughs> ignatia we go to our next drug that is pulsatilla pulsatilla is a very common remedy each of us knows it has been using it again and again but from psychological angle if we are to prescribe we are to look into some different things here for that we have to understand it in short and in details both so mind and veins mucous membranes tongue stomach bowel female genito urinary organs then respiration right heart right side then words by warm warm thing any sense air room clothes bed warm room warm drinks then getting feet wet suppression evening rest beginning of motion lying on one side left or painless side so lying on left or painless side 
वेर एज राइट और पेनफुल साइड हिस्पोस्फोरस विथ हेड लो देन डेंगलिंग फीट हैंगिंग फीट देन ईटिंग रिच फूड लॉन्ग आफ्टर ईटिंग ईटिंग फैट्स ईटिंग आइसक्रीम एग्स ओवर लोडिंग स्टमक पोर्क फ्रूट्स एंड पेस्ट्री puberty pregnancy before menses during menses iron quinine is of that time so you can say even by interpretation we find the effect of this in using many current allopathic drugs including steroids sometimes so this is also one of the remedies which comes in along with hypersulf hypersulf is another remedy which is important for use of uh, steroids and thuja so uh this is out of interpretation and out of clinical experience now better by cold fresh open air uncovering erect posture gentle motions after a good cry then cold applications rubbing hard pressure lying with head high then cold drinks and cold food then let us go to hearing repeatedly verified symptoms of mind hypochondria that is somatic anxiety moroseness depression out of sorts with everything is not happy in anything gloomy melancholic mood mild bashful bashful means shy gentle yielding disposition that is the typical that prototype uh, uh, female constitution prototype not uh, which is approved by today's working society but then prototype earlier one then silent mood inclined to silent grief with submissiveness weeping sad bursting into tears very easily can hardly tell her symptoms without weeping at every nursing uh, then the, about child at everything whether joyful or sad at answering a question with almost all her sufferings many are from suppressed emotions now these symptoms this particular mentality is typically a female mentality that is why we have called it as a female remedy not that by experiments we have seen that it acts more on females and less on males but not by experiments like that but by comparing the mental picture as well as the general constitution of picture mind affectionate mild timid emotional <coughs> tearful alternating with laughter for second that is abundant feeling everybody has left her yielding submissive cannot refuse anything wants to please sympathetic but gives to receive that is gives to receive there are people who receive to give that is who receive first and then give afterwards now here is a person who gives first so that one can receive that is a sign of now whether one receives or not is not known so if one doesn't receive he or she is disappointed so this is the temperament described like this by vermilion may have rigid moralistic dogmatic that is old ideas in a deeper stage fastidious the fastidious are the people who will do everything to a great nicety all things must be kept in order irresolute fears narrow places then in a crowd fears when alone of darkness fear of insanity fear of madness is called lysophobia lysophobia is not only fear of madness it is a fear of even cancer can be listed under that so can be man earlier it, it was written fear of syphilis fear of syphilis because syphilis was incurable disease so now syphilis is not there incurable anymore now it is cancer so fear of cancer so that way this is lysophobia can be manipulative to get attention places responsibility on others and self pity then chilly yet absolutely intolerant to every form of heat you have seen that now that is the reason why sometimes chilly and hot is not so simple here is a remedy where there is chilliness that is inside one feels chill but externally if you feel chill inside then you should logically like to cover up but it is life it is not mathematics if you do not like cold that means you must like heat that is not necessary here internally there is chill but warmth is not tolerated so chilliness during pains yet aversion to heat is pulsatile 
that is why it is a contradictory symptom like ignatia also has contradictory symptoms here also contradictory symptoms craving for open air changeable shifting symptoms contradictory or changeable mood wise also and symptom wise also pains disappear gradually after sudden or gradual appearance then profuse thick bland yellowish green discharges are very well known no thirst this also i need not tell anything on it fats and rich food then digestive problems never well since puberty all this is so well known that hardly i need to tell anything on that flushes easily very says very cause veins full of veins changeable stools menses dark late scanty irregular cough loose in the morning then dry in the evening chronic nasal catarrh yellow thick greenish offensive stoppage of nose at night all gone in stomach in tea drinkers then otitis otitis media in children aggravated night aggravated heat whining whining means uh, weeping or irritation in hindi we call it ghingira ghingira means just keep on whining complaining this and that wants consolation so that is pulsatilla picture quite well known to you i have not told anything new i have told only the things which you have got to remember and this closely remembering a drug makes your task easy if your number of drugs are lessened if you want to study each and every drug in this way you can so that is what hanuman has said that limited number of remedies so limited number of remedies study it well learn it well learn it thoroughly then next is china china here also under similar pattern we are examining blood and circulation secretions digestive organs liver spleen nerves mucous membranes then left side is more affected also right side what happens with china china we have normally understood remedy for two conditions one is gases digestive complaint and second is weakness in india apart from these two things we seldom use china in our day to day practice because you have so many other remedies to use but no china has got a great potential let us see here in this symptomatology loss of fluids touch jar noise periodicity or periodically then cold drafts wind eating fruit milk mental exertion night motion and walking then better by hard pressure better by loosening clothes better by bending double better by lying down and better by fasting this is the modality complex then hearing tells chooses wrong expressions or misplaces them that is mental confusion dementia then delirium after depletion the depletion is loss of something on closing eyes that is discharge is here sees persons when closes eyes sees persons now what is this this is a hallucination if you close your eyes and you see persons then either this is hallucination or this is ocd because you are seeing a person you are talking to yourself so that is a matter of interpretation but then patient should be inspired to tell this symptom to you and you should be able to extract this symptom full of projects and ideas ambitious people especially in evening and night compelled to jump out of bed wants to destroy himself but lacks courage dislike to all or dislike of all mental or physical exertion that is a lazy person no physical exertion no uh, mental exertion is tolerated then indifference apathy taciturn taciturn means silent one who doesn't talk low spirited gloomy has no desire to live inconsolable anxiety so much anxiety that cannot be consoled then dread of dogs and other animals and inclined to reproach that is rebuke and vex that is irritate others mind every external impression leaves deep traces do not want to live any more but lack the courage to commit suicide full of plans and ideas in fact this mathematical language of lacks the courage to commit suicide is um, i don't know how it has been coined but one has to have courage to live because courage to end life is not that much important 
as there is courage to live because these people do not have courage to live that is why they kill themselves it doesn't need courage to kill life it needs timidity to kill life but it is a matter of interpretation anyway so full of plans and ideas especially in the evening night you said clarity of mind then sleeplessness from activity of mind overactive overactive and so much overactive that is not able to sleep delusion of these delusions are very important that he is unfortunate the world is hostile delusion he is being constantly harassed by enemies that is persecutory delusions then apathy indifference and sadness following severe disease remember all the delusions are very important and uh, it is no uh, sense to uh, categorize those delusions into say sort of peripheral delusions or central delusions or uh, say um, upward delusions or downward delusions or uh, north delusions or south delusions so this classification is useless because we are not experts in delusions we don't want to become expert in delusions what we want to become expert is in catching this psychosis a person who has got delusion is a psychotic person or suffering from delusional disorder or is in line into going in that direction so from that angle all the delusions which our main drugs have we must try to understand and remember them now generalities chidi aggravated by cold in general then ailments from loss of fluids all fluids have been enlisted here periodical and intermittent complaints then nervousness and sensitivity of special senses that is described under this special senses sensitivity how do we interpret that least touch aggravates while pressure relieves extreme susceptibility to cold air and when least noise is experienced as painful tinnitus aureum that is in the ear there are many sounds then over sensitivity to odors cooking odors so that is hyper acute senses over sensitivity then canine hunger especially at night bad effects from abuse of tea particulars are these gases that is distension which we all know and use it circulatory disturbances hemorrhages anemia edematous swelling gallstone colic same hour then headache bursting headache congestive headache then after that perspiration day and night during sleep or even when closing the eyes opposite is sembigus then one foot is hot and other is cold one hand is hot other is cold diarrhea after eating tears that is apple like fruit then after milk from oysters toothache while nursing the child so that completes our china and last it takes us to the last remedy which is opium opium we shall also see under the same head headings and opium is a remedy which for many years of my practice i used only for constipation because this angulation of prescribing on the basis of psychiatry has come quite late but we find opium a wonderful remedy of potential for fears and you know any emotion list list of any emotion is not complete without fear fear is a paramount emotion so any remedy which covers fear is very useful to us because that is the keystone of anxiety let us see mild mind senses nerves brain cerebrospinal sympathetic lungs respiration digestive tract left side right side so moderately complex emotions fear <coughs> fright actually these are emotions only alcohol sleep suppressed discharges receding eruptions then if heated by heat hot bath during and after sleep stimulants by cold also uncovering and while perspiring better by cold constant walking and open air then after the moderately complex we go to hearing insensibility accompanied by complete apoplectic respiration that is advanced condition apoplexy means nothing but stroke also that is in nursing home condition either patient is recovering in a nursing home or has come home 
and over there there is insensitivity and here remember one thing the most important symptom is that patient does not want anything and has no complaints there are patients who want bring him bring her i want to eat i want to drink i am having pain here pain there rub my foot so these are the complaints which normally the patients have but there is another population and that depends on the level of affection but symptomatically we find that opium comes into the picture when patient has no complaints and make uh, has no wants and makes no complaints unconscious gray glassy half closed eyes then uh, deep coma mania e potu now mania e potu is old term that means delirium tremens what is delirium tremens a chronic alcoholic who when leaves drinking stops drinking develops this condition which is called mania e potu or delirium tremens with dullness of senses at intervals so poor so poor means sleepiness with snoring in old emaciated person sees animals hallucinations coming towards him people want to hurt him execute him these are all hallucinations which are produced in such people it's a very long symptom you can see that in herring's waiting symptom ailments from excessive joy excessive joy as well as sudden fear anger or shame that is strong emotions after fright fear of the fright still remain now this is how kent has differentiated between arnica and opium in opium the matter of fright has gone whatever has caused that fright that thing no more remains but in arnica that thing remains that is constant presence of that particular aspect so this is difference between arnica and opium as kent has described let us remember that after fright the fright has taken place somebody has fright and showed you a mobile clip in which a very dangerous scene is there very torturous scene is there and after that the person is disturbed no more that uh, is there then secondly there is a fear that somebody has behaved badly with you and you are afraid of that and that person comes across to you again and again so that is the difference between uh, the fear that is fright still remaining and the object there or not there then mind ailments from these disappointment embarrassment fear and fright that very thing all emotions have been enlisted you see all emotions have been enlisted which in a single word we can call we can call it stress the stress means all the different shades of it then you go into which type of stress is afterwards but then stress leading to withdrawal into inner world now what is the happening with the opium addicts they take addiction either because of company or because of some experience in life when they want to run away from reality and then make their own world where they are withdrawn from the real world into inner world that is so that is drowns his problems in drinks or intoxications then ailment from dipsomania now what is dipsomania dipsomania means drinking may it be drinking water may it be drinking alcohol so alcoholics are dipsomania and there are varieties of it like binge drinking binge drinking is an area which is like a fit that is sudden bouts of drinking person will be all right for months together and suddenly he will start taking drinks and he will drink 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 and drink so that is called binge drinking drinking or dipsomania for that matter then withdrawal into an inner world delusion that he himself was dead so much withdrawn so much withdrawn he is dead or he is a criminal which is going to be killed he is about to receive injury attempts to escape then delusion he is away from home is found in bryany also must go there ask for nothing strong tendency to be alarmed and timorous that is timid character then unaffected by external impressions painlessness lack of reaction that is the result of excessive drugging then judgment of situations is diminished naturally such people cannot judgment judge the situations properly rash that is uh, not controlled inconsiderate 
does not consider for others then bold one who doesn't consider for others will be bold not necessarily but one interpretation i am telling and fearless indifferent to pain and pleasure neither happy in pleasure nor unhappy in pain can be sign of a very great person also very religious big religious person also who has conquered his emotions or can be sign of a criminal also or can be sign of a drug addict also now you are to see the symptoms and be in reception if you get such population then be ready to prescribe opium if you get the symptoms of opium 1 2 3 4 as many symptoms so wonderful result blind prescription then don't blame that sir this teaching is useless <laughs> then generally it is ailments of and somnolence somnia insomnia absence of sleep somnia sleep somnolence means sleepiness <clears throat> all secretions to urine menses etc diminished except that of the skin skin there is a lot of sweating otherwise all other secretions are diminished hot perspiration then great sleepiness after a head injury after surgery remains stupefied this is as if he is under super under stupefaction under comatose type of condition coma is different thing but then under sleepy condition because from coma one cannot be aroused whereas here he can be aroused with greater difficulty now particulars are face is dark red swollen hot and sweaty or red and pale alternately pupils are contracted is a very big important characteristic of opium once there was a um, actually it's a case where one of the millionaires family uh, his uh, mother who is uh, who was a minister i won't name them and uh, for treating she was in coma for treating her an expert homeopath of the time i can name him because he is no more dr jugal kishore dr jugal kishore was called to nagpur to attend to that patient he came by morning flight saw the patient and uh, went back of course and uh, he called repertory etc because that time uh, through some common person i supplied tens repertory to him <coughs> repertory case he did but then what he saw was when he opened the eyes the pupils were constricted now constricted pupils is a common feature of hemorrhage in pons area if there is a hemorrhage in pontine area then there will be pupils will be constricted but then here he must have noted other symptoms also and gave okay and next day her consciousness level improved considerably So I remember that case. So remember that this contracted pupils, you have to be in search for that. Paralytic atonia of bowels and bladder, stool consisting of hard black balls, then snoring, stertorous, noisy respiration, dry hacking cough preceded and followed by yawning, and reversed peristal peristalsis. In fact, this whenever I call reversed peristalsis. now that means vomiting so you call it in hindi ulti but nobody calls cd <laughs> because that is the straight direction is normal and opposite is ulti so reverse uh, peristalsis is ulti that is vomiting so that completes our discussion on these five remedies if you have any questions double dip